What's up guys? It's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity Build It video and today we're going to talk about the SimCity Build It leaderboard for the contest of mayors and what the leaderboard can actually tell you in terms of what kind of competition you're going to be looking at. So now a lot of you are super confused about why uh, certain level players have more competition than other levels. So we're going to talk about what the leaderboard means and and things that you can look at to determine the competition that you're going to be up against now i i collected screenshots from several of the players that are in my group now all of them are playing the contest of mayors competitively and so they're kind of in a training lesson in um we have like a group chat thing on facebook and they're all in the same messenger so i had them all send me um you know, a collection of screenshots of their leaderboard and the top four players that are below them on the leaderboard com rank because it can actually tell you quite a bit about what you're going to be up against and, and what to expect from the players, right? So for those of you who, have, who haven't not already, um, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. That way you get notified when I have videos go up because there's going to be a lot of new videos coming out the next week or so. And for those of you who are still having trouble picking the contest of mayor's tasks, there's going to be a video coming out today that is hopefully going to, to really truly explain what needs to be done. I have a, I had a, I had a, video come to mind last night and I typed up this big guide and everything so that we're going to do a video on that and a lot of you are going to be like contest of mayors pros by the time that you finish this video and the next video so make sure that you I know it's going to be um, a little bit long and there's going to be a lot of information but do the best that you can to at least make it to the end of the video because there's going to be a lot of information in these next two videos okay so jumping right into it um this is PewDiePie, not the real PewDiePie. This is a poser, okay? <laughs> um, anyways, he has a level 18 city, and this is, he's been camping for a while. Now, one of the ways that uh, that you can know, well, no, I'm not even gonna tell you that yet. So as you can see, he's a level 18 player and he's in the Mega League, right? Now we know right away that his his points are actually you know pretty high right for a level 18 player in mega so he's got 147,000 points on his leaderboard i'm gonna there you go so the people below him have 143,000 142,000 133 120 you can see it right so the top four or five people have quite a few quite a few points themselves so now a lot of people would think okay if the competition is this hard in mega for a level 18 player that the higher up you go in level it's just going to get harder and harder right and that's not true actually and there's a couple of reasons why that's not true and so i'm going to pull up um some screenshots from a higher level player in my group and i'm going to show you guys why give me just a second here so this is looking for monrovia's hang on just a sec you guys Okay. No. Oh. He's is above. See, these fuckers, I told them to send it all to me in one. Not even going to get going on that bit tree. Okay. So, this is Monrovia's. He's a level 20 player. See how his, he's in Metro. And the competition below him is really, really minimal, right? And so, he's got 71,000 in Metro as a level 20 player. And he's able to hit the top of the leaderboard. Why? Why is a higher level city in a lower league experiencing lower competition than a lower level city in a higher league? Okay. For this reason, first thing that you're always going to want to look at is what's going on in the game. And that's not just, you know, with the contest of mayors. That's with a lot of things. But what we know right now about what's going on in the game is we know that there's only about a week left of this pass, right? And so a lot of people have finished this pass. So they're not going to be trying as hard to get those points. Now, what do we know about the players that he's going against? That's what we need to look at. What are the players he's going against versus the players that 
that Pew is going against. Well, the players that Pew's going against have a lot more points and they're love lower level. So what does that tell us as far as what type of players they are? That tells us that they know what they're doing, right? That they are probably high level players that have restarted and that these are their new cities or their feeder cities or, or whatever the case may be, right? And so, or there are people that have been watching my videos and they, they have a really good idea of what it is that they're doing and that's why they're adding so many points. So how can you tell and what can you tell about a player? And so what I was expecting to see is I was expecting to see players with a low com rank, right? The, in Monrovia's uh, leaderboards, right? So the players below him, I was expecting to see a low com rank because here we are at the end of the pass and these players are level 20 with very low points. So what I'm expecting to see when he pulls up their com, when you click on a person's city, it pulls up their com profile, right? And I'm expecting to see somebody with a very low com rank with very low points and very low um, levels unlocked on the season pass, because I'm expecting that these are newbies. They're people that are leveling too quickly. They don't understand the contest of mayors. They don't know how to do the contest of mayors and they are already level 20, right? So that tells me that they're leveling way too quickly, right? So that's what I'm expecting to see when Monrovia shows me his, his, um, the, the top four people below him's com rank. Now, what, what I expected to see from Pews was that I would see people with a very high com rank. They're players that are, um, they're not new to the game. They're experienced players. They might not necessarily be playing 100% correctly, but they're experienced enough to pull um, 120K at least in the contest of mayors um, each week, right? And so even though that's a low score in terms of a 2K average, it's a pretty high score in comparison to a newbie player who doesn't know what they're doing at all, right? And so um, that's what I'm expecting to see. And I didn't tell them what I was looking for. I just asked them to, to kind of explain to me why they thought that that would be the case. So as we scroll over, this is, um, okay, so right here, this is one of the people below on Monrovia's list here. So he's got 6,400 points. And this is what I mean. When you guys first start your round of the contest, the very first thing you do, the first day of the contest, what I want you guys to do is analyze the players that you're going up against, right? And so always pay attention to what's going on in the game. If it's the beginning of the season pass, you know that you're going to have a lot more competition in the first few weeks of the season pass, because that's when everybody's going to be wanting to unlock their, their season pass. And they're going to be in a hurry to um, get those buildings and get those prizes unlocked. So you're going to see a lot harder competition, competition at the beginning. You're also going to see a lot of competition at the very last week because it's double points week. People are making up for time lost and they're just going to be adding a ton of points, right? So let's say that they do a week without double points. So between passes, like last pass, what they did was they went, okay, you know, um, after double points week, we're going to have a week of calm where you guys aren't working towards a pass at all but the next pass is going to come out next week. We had a week off from the contest as far as the pass goes, but you're still able to do the contest. So one of the girls in my group was able to win Mega uh, that week with 85,000 points. And she was like a level 30 player. And I was like, that's why, right? Because first off, you're a level 30 player. So you're going to experience a lot less competition. And we'll ex I'll explain that in just a minute. But another reason is because um, a lot of people were just taking the week off, right? They, they didn't care. Now, that's what I mean by looking at what's going on in the game. See where you are at the pass and, and analyze that. Then analyze the players you're going against. So it's the first day of the contest. A lot of people that don't know what they're doing will add a lot of points very quickly, right? And this goes into what I'm trying to say about... Um, about it's about the start or it's about the finish not about the start right
So a lot of players think that they need to add quick points, like hurry, hurry, just add all these points and scare off all the players. Uh, no, dude, it doesn't work that way. Slow and steady will finish the race. It doesn't matter what the fuck you, you put up in the beginning of the contest. It just doesn't, right? You can put up 85,000 points in one day. Does it matter if you, if you lose at the end of the, at the end of the week? Because somebody actually took their time and did the correct tasks. And then you have these players, they sit there and they, they hold off on, on all their points. And they're like, okay, I'm going to hold my tickets, right? And I've got like 10 tickets left. And I'm going to wait and see if this guy creeps up on me. And you're like, fuck, man, he, he stopped. He hasn't done anything. And you're watching him. And he's at 120,000 points. And you're like, okay, he's at 120. Maybe he's completely out and he wore himself out. I've still got 40 left, so I know if I run a 2K average, I'm going to well surpass him. So then you start creeping up on him. You're about 10,000 points away from this guy, and all of a sudden, he adds up some points again. And you're like, okay, so he does have tickets left, or he does have assignments left. And he's just like, do I have to keep adding? Do I, do I need to? And then he adds a few more, and then he slowly, slowly, as the, the days creep by, he slowly gets bumped down. And next thing you know, who... The guy that was in first place the entire week is now in eighth, ninth, tenth place because all the people that held on to their, um, th that didn't just, you know, rush, 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 all the people that were not, you don't want to go too slow. You want to be able to finish, but they were able to actually hold the 2K average. And that's why you're, the people that finish um, in the beginning, the people that are, that are all done in the first day, that is a good sign. Unless they're like a hacker and they're adding an obscene amount of points. Like, you know, they have 200,000 points or something. If they're, if they're at like 40,000 in the first like nine hours of the contest, that's a great sign. Because that means that that person has no fucking idea what they're doing. Now, if you're a higher level player and you are experiencing that, that doesn't necessarily mean they don't know what they're doing. I can add 50,000 points in an hour at my level and have a very good idea of what the fuck I'm doing. So it really depends on what level you are. All of the advice that I'm going to be giving here today, some of it applies to all players, but most of it applies to below level 30 players. Okay. So um, take into consideration that level 18 players with a high comm rank, what does that tell us about them? Right. It tells us that they are camping and they're not doing upgrades. If they're level 18 and they have a high comm rank, that's what we can tell. These people are level 20 and they have a very low comm rank. So we're also looking at the seasons participated. So this guy's only been in here for two seasons, right? He's already level 20 and he's only got 6,400 points and he's in Metro. So he's gonna get promoted into Mega next round, which means he's not gonna be putting up very much um, competition there either right? And so, but once you get into Mega, you're going in with a few other people, you know? So to remain in Mega, you have to hold a certain placement value. You, you can't just remain in Mega and do nothing every single week. You will get demoted. It depends on the leaderboard, of course, right? So looking at all the people in uh, Monrovia's group, we can see that he's the one with the level 20, right? With the seven, he's got 71,000 and everybody below him has less than 7,000 points. And looking at their comm rank, look at this guy. Season participated in two. He's got a contest rank of seven. He's got 4,800 points. Okay, this guy, contest, contest rank is six. He's participated in one season. And you can also look at the tier of the pass that they're in. He's only collected nine tiers of this pass. Okay. So these, this is his competition. So right off the bat, if he was to look at this leaderboard the first week, he would be able to go, okay, I'm not really going up against anybody spectacular here because they're not doing shit. They haven't been doing shit the whole time. Why would they do shit now, right? So you can tell right away what, what's about to happen, okay? So now let's go back to Pew's. Now Pew, he's level 18. And this is his leaderboard. Why is his higher if he's, a, he's in a higher league and he's lower level? Well, we know that level 18 players are usually people that have restarted. They're usually people that know what they're doing, right? So let's look at the contest rank for his players. 
okay? So one of them has a contest rank of 21. What does this tell us? This tells us that they have done quite a few assignments to get to, to get to your contest rank up, it goes based off how many assignments you've done, right? And so now let's look at this. So he's at current tier is 42. He's been playing for at least three seasons. So his score, my guess is, he has been playing for quite some time. You can also look at their club score. So what I mean by that is if you click the club tab, It'll show you what club that person's in. You can type in that club code and you can go and look at the players within that club. You can look at his, uh, his war tab and you can see if he's an avid war player. You can see what their group predominantly focuses on. If they're a contest of mayor's group, they're probably gonna put up more points. If they have an obscene amount of points from all their players and you suspect that there's hacking going on, then that's another way you can tell. If you see that somebody has reached level 42 of the pass and we're the second week in to the contest, you know something's up, right? So there's a lot of information that you can get from somebody's profile. And knowing what you're going to be going up against before you, you give it your all is, is, is huge, right? And so let's go on to the next guy. So the next guy has 142,000. He's a uh, rank 21 and he's participated in four seasons. You can see his war um, rank is 21. So we know he's an avid war player. Okay. So this guy, and I, this is what I was expecting to see. I was expecting to see high ranked players with quite a few seasons participated and having completed quite a bit of the pass. That's what I was expecting to see. Now, this player has a little bit lower points. They have only been participated in one season so far that their com rank is already 14 with only one season and they're only at level 35, right? So the, you can tell that he is a beginner player with this city, but not necessarily a beginner player in general. This is definitely somebody who has another city. Or they just came across my videos. They got really, really lucky that they found my videos before they happened to play another city, right? Now, this one is a rank 15. He's got a, he's level 22 of the pass, and he's participated in four seasons, okay? So if he's level 22 and he's participated in our six seasons, then that means that he's been slacking quite a bit in this uh, this round of the contest. So he will likely not finish, right? I mean, he might, if he, I mean, maybe. I, I'd have to do the math. If he, if he really busted his ass in double points week, maybe. But um, you can tell that he has not been giving it his all. And if he has, he just, he just doesn't know what he's doing, right? And so this guy is um, level 31 or rank 31, tier 38, and he's participated in eight seasons. He's got a really high war rank as far as like a level 18 player goes. So you can tell that he's an avid war player as well. So his, his group probably predominantly focuses on war. Now, what I'm also seeing is that he's a senior in a group and that they only have 10 players in his club. So what do we know about war, play, war clubs? Well, they want to have the least amount of targets possible most of the time. And so what they'll do is they'll, they'll kind of separate their groups into sections and they'll say, okay, you know, there's 24 of us. Let's, let's do a club, you know, split, kind of like a merge, right? And so they all, they split it into two groups to, to lower the amount of targets. And they go, okay, we're going to do war with this many targets. And then that way we can, um, lower the playing field as far as their points against us and we're trying they're trying to get a they're trying to go against clubs with more players than them right and so that tells me that he's probably an avid war player and that's why his score is a little bit lower than everybody else's but he definitely is playing calm because he's you know he's already tier 38 he's going to finish the pass which you need 611,000 points to finish the pass so you know they're they're earning at least that much, right? So um, now we're on to uh, this guy. Now this guy is the one. He's at ninety nine thousand. Um, he's at tier thirty eight. 
and he's been here for nine seasons. Now look at his contest rank, 57. How long do you think he's been playing a level 18 city with a contest rank of 57? Well, gee, I don't know, fucking a long ass time, right? Um, but he's not putting up, you know, very many points right now. You can tell he's an avid war player. Again, you can tell he's in a uh, a war club by the by the number of players in his club. Doesn't necessarily mean that all war clubs have ten players, but it is a, a, an indication that that's what their club is about. Now he's either focused on war and doesn't care about this contest, or he plans to wait until the very last minute and just add a shit ton of points. We'll see what happens, but. Um, Typically, it, it, it almost looks as though he's just playing to finish the pass. It doesn't look like he's really um, a very competitive player, unless, like I said, unless he's waiting till last minute to just knock them all out, right? We'll see. Now, <laughs> this is Belle, okay? She is a new player, and she is in Town Lake. So this is the first thing we're looking at. We're looking at her league and her level. Now, for a level 18 player... And in Town League, why is she seeing such a low amount of points here? What can we determine from this? Well, um, these are usually relatively new players. So we're going to be looking at seasons played. So let's just jump right into it. So for her, <laughs> with 56,000 points, She's not trying to run a 2K average because she doesn't want to waste the cash, the time, the funds, the resources. There's no point. Why should she? If she can win first place prize and she already knows she's not going to be able to finish the pass, then what's the point in adding and, and going for a 2K average? There's not one, right? So as you see, she's been participated in one season so far, okay? She's got a contest rank of 10 and she's unlocked 20, 20 tiers. Now, Hang on just a second. Okay, so right here, a contest rank of eight and then uh, 27,000. So they're, they're probably in the same general um, ballpark here. Yep, seasons participated is one on the next person with the contest rank of six. So essentially we're looking at seasons participated to see how long the person's been playing. Now, same same general concept. So basically the reason that she's not seeing competition is because these players are new players. You can tell they're new. You can tell they don't know what they're doing. And even if they're not new and they're advanced players with new cities, the city is clearly new is what I'm trying to say. So the war ranks are pretty low um, on the ones that I can see. So yeah, they're just new players and they, they came into it late. So there's no sense in putting up at a bunch of points in the town league, right? So let's get on to the next person's, and that is, who's, are we at now? Hang on just a sec, you guys. Hang on, hang on. I got to figure out who these belong to. Give me just a second, you guys. So that's Monrovia. Okay. We talked about Pew. We talked about Bill. Now we're at Evolve. Okay. Evolve is um, Belle's boyfriend. They are both new to the game and the same exact concept. So he's in Town League. He's not going for a 2K average. He's just been, you know, he's not spending any cash or anything like that. <laughs> As you can see, he's relatively new and he's going to get the grand prize regardless. So right now he's got about 23 tasks left. And he is just going to be adding some quick, fast, easy points because he's only got um, like 18 hours left when we took this photo. So right now he is, Seasons Participated is one. Um, we're going to look at the players in his group. And again, most of these players are new. You can tell that right away. Seasons Participated is one. Now, he's not level 20. Okay, so now we're on to somebody else's. So basically, this is Evolve stuff, right? So again, same exact concept as Bell. They started at the same time. They're both at the same point in the game. They're in the lower leagues, which if you're in a lower league this late in the contest, odds are you're a new player, right? Because you remain in Mega the next round. 
So when the new season pass starts, if you end it in Mega, you're going to start in Mega with the new pass. So if people are starting at the beginning, then you know that, um, that okay, well, you know what, then obviously that's where they left off or they're new. So this is CPT's leaderboard here. Now, CPT is not quite done. Obviously, well, none of them are quite done. He's got 18 hours left. He's at 147,000. And the guy below him has 142,000. But everybody else doesn't seem to be putting up a hell of a fight here, right? So given the fact that CPT is level 24 and he has a lot of points, let's see what type of players he's going against. So why does it? Oh, yeah, okay, we went. That's right. He sent them backwards. So this is the first, first one of his. So City of Heroes is a contest rank 37. Nope. Okay, he didn't send me the, the actual. Jesus Christ, CPT, you fucking ass. Give me just a second. Okay. So now that I finally... Finally, yes, finally, got the screenshot, the correct screenshots from this asshole. Okay. Oh, my God, dude. My fucking forehead you could cook breakfast on. I'm so mad at this guy right now. Ah! All right. Son of a bitch. Now, what were we talking about? Okay, so CPT. The guy on my fucking shit list today. Okay, where's his stupid screenshots here? All right, so he's got... Who, who even fucking cares, dude, about him right now? I'm so fucking mad at him right now. Ah! Fucking eggs. Okay, you guys. These people, they're testing, they're testing my patience. They really are. So. Do, 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 do. Going all the way back up to the very top. Oh, my God. Yes, this is me, mad. Okay, so CPT sent his stuff in. I asked for five screenshots from everybody to be sent in all at one time. And they were supposed to send me one of their leaderboard and then one of a profile of the, uh, the comm ranking profile part of each person's level below them, like the, the four people below them. They're supposed to click their profile, click the Contest of Mayors tab, and then send me a screenshot of that part of the profile. As you can see, CPT sent me a screenshot, but he didn't provide the entire part of that profile. I just got the com rank. So in the midst of trying to get the proper photos from him, yes, this is the bullshit that I have to deal with, okay, from these people. Fucking Jesus Christ. So this is how long it took me to finally get the fucking right screenshots. Yes, that's my Judge Judy getting pissed the fuck off running out of time here, dude. Okay, so I got the right screenshots. Now, what we know from him is that uh, he's an asshole. No, but really. So <sighs> he's level 24, and he is winning the contest of mayors multiple times. You know, he runs at about a 2K average or higher, and he's been, you know... Um, winning first place each week. So below him, the reason that you're seeing su such a high competition or high points value at his level is because before level 30, you don't have Omega unlocked, right? So from level 18 to 20, you're gonna, at level 20, you're gonna unlock silver tokens. That's going to increase the competition of the contest of mayors a little bit because it's going to make those production tasks go much more quickly, right? But it's going to alleviate a lot of the, uh, the trouble for you level 18 players. So that's why I advise people to go up to level 20 if they're having a hard time getting their assignments done on time. A level 18 player probably has the hardest time running a 2K average because if they're camping, they're unable to do their upgrade tasks, which means they need to utilize all their other premium tasks. And if their production is not able to be sped up, then they're going to have to wait out those production tasks the entire time. So the contest of mayors prep for a level 18 player is probably the most important out of all the levels. And 
it's really important that you don't fill your shops with your production tasks as a level 18 player. I have tips and tricks for that in that video that you're definitely going to want to watch. Now, as you go up to level 20, you're going to unlock silver tokens. This will alleviate the problem with the, the production tasks a little bit. However, once you get up to level 24, that's when you unlock gold tokens and you unlock epic projects. So you're going to get those epic project tasks. Now, those tasks aren't really a huge issue. They they can work, um, they, they, they don't really go against you too much. Like, we're gonna talk about that task in another video, but it's, it's not a, too big of an issue. Once you go up to level 25, which is where Sandrine is, we're gonna talk about why the game changes so much for her. So with, with CPT's uh, leaderboard here, we know that a lot of these players are, um, Uh, look at this one's almost done with the pass and he's participated in seven seasons so we know that if he's been here for seven seasons and he's still level 24 with that high of a contest rank the odds are is that he knows a little bit about what he's doing meaning that this is probably not his first city or it's you know it is his first city but he came across a lot of youtube videos and did a lot of research and he has a pretty good idea of what he's doing with the contest doesn't necessarily mean that they're doing they're not getting scores that are so great okay like sixty four thousand in mega is shit, especially for a level 24 player but essentially right now with the with the contest the way that it is they know they're going to be able to finish their pass and they're just probably slacking off you know I, I can't see their war rank in his, so I don't know if they're war players. But essentially what you want to do is you want to learn the players that you're going against. That is really, really important, right? If you can figure out, okay, this player is level 18, he's got a, a contest rank of 57, and his uh, the league that he's in will, will tell quite a bit. The, the points that he has this round is going to tell you a lot. But what tells you the most is the seasons participated and the contest rank, right? That'll tell you, you know, a, a rough idea of how much experience that person has. So for me, like the first couple contest uh, rank levels, they, they start to go up in points. But once you reach a certain point of that, they start, it's like 200,000 points for every contest rank you go up past a certain level. So the first one, you know, if it's only, a th I, I can't remember, but if it's only, let's just say it's a thousand uh, contest of mayor points to go up to rank two and then, and then so on and so on. Once you reach past a certain point, it's 200,000 for each one. So, um, I mean, you, you can have a pretty good idea how long that person's been playing and, and their experience level based off of their contest rank. So looking at, um, this guy's contest rank, he's level 25 and he's only level 12 contest rank. Now we know from looking at the previous ones that somebody, Bell was like a level 10 or something and she had only, let's let's go back and look at Bell super quick. We're gonna have to go down there anyway. Let's see. Okay, so Bell's is, She's a, yeah, she's contest rank 10 and she's past level 20. So we know that she is, um, she, she, you know, she hasn't put up a whole lot of points to get to that contest rank is what I'm saying. So if he's contest rank 12 and he's level 25, that means that this dude is not camping. He's not really doing much of anything. So he's going up way too quickly. Somebody who's, and then another thing that you can do, right? is click uh, if they're level 25 that would mean that you're level 24 or whatever so if you're seeing a level 25 city in your league click their city and learn everything you can about that player go to their club or you don't have to go physically to their club but click their club tab and you can type in their club code and start viewing all the other players in their club and start seeing what the other players in their club are about look at their their war rank you know look at their um their, uh, what was I going to say? The fucking, it was important too, you guys. Um, okay, I'll get back to that. I'm sure it'll pop up in my head. But 
you're going to be looking at their their contest rank of course you're going to be looking at the tier of the paths that they're in oh cities that's what it was so you're going to look for a level 25 city and see if they have any regional maps unlocked now there's been several times where i've had somebody in my group tell me that they have a regional map unlocked and it's not visible on their profile and that is true that does happen quite a bit they will screenshot their their actual map unlocked but it does not show the city unlocked on their profile i don't know why it's doing that same with people missing their friends list that's been happening quite a bit lately so if it's happening to you i i don't really have a fix for you it just seems to be a, an ongoing issue so this is sandrine's okay she is okay She's level 25, and she has 105,000 points. Let's see how many. She had eight plus uh, eight assignments left, plus 15 tickets, so 22 in total. So she's looking at another 44,000 points if she does a 2K average, which would be 150. So if she keeps up what she's doing, she'll hit a 2K average, roughly, right? So... Um, Right now, we know what she's going against. The person has 127. They're running close to a 2K average, but not quite. Now, we don't know out of assignments yet, do we? So we want to learn what we can about the players in her league to kind of anticipate what she's going against. So this guy is the F Rising Star. Okay. So, and she's in another language, you guys. So it's going to be kind of hard to, to understand. But we know that his contest, I, wait, I can't tell whose city that is. That is, what's his? His is 127275. So yeah, that's him. Okay, so this is him. So his contest rank is 73, right? And he's level 25. That is fucking ridiculous. That tells you what? Well, look at his season pass. Or yeah, well, look at his, his first off, his thing is only at level 40. But his seasons participated in is nine. Okay, so he's been, there's only nine seasons. And then before that, we had um, the game play. We didn't have a season pass before that. We went up in leagues and we got buildings. Now, without actually traveling to his city to see which buildings he has placed out, there's no way of really knowing how long he's been playing. But we do know that he's been playing for at least nine seasons. And for him to be participating in nine seasons, he had to have been level 18 at the time. With his contest rank at level 73, that... He's been playing the city for a very long time, okay? This is not his first city. There's no way. This is definitely a... He, he made a city, he fucked up, he learned his mistakes, and he, he camped and he stayed low level. Now, I don't know what cities he has unlocked, but it says that he has 26,000 uh, population in this, the very top city, his capital. So, you know, without being able to see his city and stuff it, it's hard to say but i know one thing this dude has been playing a long fucking time okay this is not his first rodeo he knows a little bit about what the hell he's doing my guess is he probably has some tickets left or assignments left and he's just not quite done yet now looking at his war rank his war rank is extreme you can tell he's an avid war player okay um for the for his his level i mean so if somebody's like, oh, I have a war rank of 97, you know, yeah, okay, what level are you? How long have you been playing? We're talking about a level 25 player here. So you're trying to get to know the people you're going against. What is their experience level with the game? And what is the, what are they predominantly focused on? Somebody who's predominantly focused on war, but does the pass for the purpose of the pass and plays casually won't put up as many points. The person that is actively in calm playing competitively and playing war is going to have a lot higher rank. People that have no clue what they're doing at all are going to have um, very low scores, right? And they're going to have very, they're going to have very low ranks and they're going to be in the higher leagues or they're going, you're going to see what will really happen in quite a bit, like in Monrovia's league, how he's in Metro. If you're in Metro this late in the season, right? And you're level 20, so you're not level 18. You're not just now starting out. So either you leveled up to level 20 very quickly once you hit level 18, right? Which means 
that you don't know what you're doing. You're leveling up too quick, right? So it's like, okay, wait a minute here. What do we know about players that do that? They level too quick. They don't know what they're doing. They don't put up a lot of points. They don't run a 2K average. So that being fucking said, you can tell, okay, hmm, these people aren't going to give me a run for my money. And even if they did, they're not even going to be in the, this league for very long. Now, what a lot of people will do when they're new, if they can't hit the top of the leaderboard in the mega, they're like, oh, I'm going to get demoted. I want to go all the way back down to town and city because I can win coins. Anybody who's doing that has no clue what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing at all. Okay. First off, if you think that the prizes in those low level leagues are great, that's another reason, another example of the experience level 60,000 coins for a week's worth of work is not great especially at that level you have to be level 17 to participate in the contest of mayors if you think that that kind of coin value is fabulous then that shows that your experience level is very minimal you need to educate yourself on how to make more coins because if you have to if you have to Work your ass off, right? To, let's just say you work your butt off, you win, or you, even if you don't, even if you do 7,000 points and you win first place in, in town or city or whatever, okay? You have to do nothing the next round to get demoted back down to the league that you want. So you're giving up your past rewards by doing that because you're not going to be adding shit for points. And you're doing all that to get a couple thousand, uh, a couple tens of thousands of coins, which is nothing. If you were to run the right production you would have 87,000 coins per day as a level 18 player, okay? So it's, it's, a, it's a matter of experience and educating yourself. Trying to get demoted every other week so that you can put up 10,000 points to win some chump change in calm is not an experienced player. An experienced player can run a 2K average in mega and cash in on that first place prize every single week. Would you rather take home 250 plat keys and 2,000 cash, along with 10 gold tokens and along with a, a, a stack of, of prizes? Or would you rather bring in 40,000 coins? It just, that doesn't make sense, okay? So if, if it's this late in the pass and you're seeing people that are in low leagues, that means that they're slacking off, right? That's what that means. They're either new to the contest or they're slacking off. And if you see that they participated in three seasons and they're in Metro and they've got 10,000 points, well, you know they've been that level for quite some time now and they're slacking. That's what you can tell about that player, right? So learn the players that you're going against. Now, going into Sandrine's some more, looking at this one, okay? This player is, uh, well, I can't see, let's see. They've been here for two seasons. They've got 75,000. Rank 50 seasons participated in is nine. They're rank 50, but they've got really low. They, they really haven't been doing a whole lot. But what are they as far as a player? Normally you have a comm player or a war player. Normally you don't have a competitive comm player and a competitive war player. It does happen, but it, it doesn't happen very often. What this tells me is you have a casual player, okay? This guy casually plays the contest. If he was playing it competitively, he would have more points than 72,000 in Mega. And he certainly would have finished his pass by now. He's four, four levels away from finishing his pass. He's playing calm casually. He wants to finish the pass. He wants to collect on the rewards, but he doesn't want to have to give it his entire week, okay? He definitely has been playing for quite some time because he has a rank of 50. He's also been playing for nine seasons, so he's probably been here quite some time. Now, if you look at his war rank, it's 41. That tells me that he is an avid war player, right? So he predominantly focuses on war, and I bet you if you were to go to his club and you were to look at their latest war, you would see his score in the latest war or even just click his tab and, and see what what his level of cards are, look at his, 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 look at everything, right? Now, this guy, he's level 28, season one, uh, he's ranked 12, and he's already level 25, and he's ranked 12. Okay, 
well, we already know he doesn't know what he's doing. He's got 52,000 points in Mega. We already know he's got a shit ton of tusks left unless he canceled like half his tasks. And the fact that he's willing to get a low placement when he could easily do those tasks and win second or third place, but he's willing to go for less. And he's only level 12, uh, rank 12. He's been here one fucking season and he's a ways away pass from finishing his pass. He could finish his pass probably if he pulled his head out of his butt, used all of his tickets and, and kicked ass. But he's not doing that, he's slacking. So, I mean, that's what that tells you about that player. He's not somebody you have to worry about. Okay? So, you know, I hope that that was informative for you guys. I'm going to open up my game. And I'm going to show you guys a couple more things that you guys can look at and try to explain it just a little bit better. But when you guys first start the, uh, the contest, you're going to be placed in with 100 random players, right? Now, the first couple hours of the contest, that's when you'll see the, the people putting up their points. Everybody is on a different time zone, so you could get people's, it could be people's nighttime, and you won't see them till the day of. If you see somebody adding a shit ton of points at first, look at their profile, look at the type of player that they are. See if they look like an experienced player or if they look like a dumbass, right? If they're not somebody that you need to worry about, don't sweat it. Just be like, look, man. This idiot's going to add a bunch of points all at once. He's going to race, 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 race to the top. And I'm just going to slow and steady pass his ass. And he's going to be sitting there with his 90,000 points the first day. And he's going to be in 20th place by the end of the week. That's what's going to happen. It happens every time. Okay. Especially at the higher level players. Now, anytime that you're looking at somebody's city. So let's pull up. We're going to pull up a couple people here. So... Let's see. What the hell? Why do I have two PewDiePies with the same name? Um, dude. What in the fuck is going on with this, dude? Hang on. Three and one. Uh, hang on, you guys. Something ain't right. Okay, you guys, there's going to be a part two to this video. I'm going to finish this. Um, I got some something I got to deal with, and then I will finish this as a part two, okay? But basically what we're going to be doing is, actually, you know what? We'll finish it now because there's not a lot left. Um, yeah, that's, that's interesting. <sighs> drama, drama. Gotta love annoying little fucking people. Okay, so... Here we go with this. Um, we're going to look at Mags. She's been playing for a really long time. She's somebody that was in my group years ago, and she recently rejoined uh, back into the game. So uh, she's participated in three seasons, but she's actually been playing a lot longer than that because she was she was just completely gone from the game, right? So keep, it, keep an eye out for that, but typically that doesn't happen very often. But one thing that you can do is you can travel to that person. If it's somebody that's giving you a really hard time and you, you, you just suspect foul play or whatever, you can always travel to that person's group and incognito, you know, kind of way and uh, join in, go to their city, look around, see if they look hacked, see if you see double contest of mayor's buildings, if you see, um, you know, things that would indicate somebody's hacked. And I'll talk about that in another video, but I got some drama that I got to deal with. But, um, okay, so Chronic, she's been playing for a really long time as well. She spent a lot of money on the game and uh, she's been playing the Contest of Mayors for a really long time. She's ranked 31. I've been playing the Contest of Mayors for a really, really, really long time, you guys. Um, and my rank is, is 61. So that's got to tell you something as far as like how many points you have to add in order to be that high rank, right? It, that's years of gameplay, unless you're running a 2K average every single week for several, several, several months and year, well, probably even years. It, I would have to do the math on it, but um, that would be just ridiculous. So here you can look at this and you can say, okay, this is... Um, you can look at, okay, medals earned in previous war. Then you look at the points they've earned, their favorite disaster, how many city monsters they've done, um, their club's war arena. 
you can look at their, the average war score and see what their average war score is. There's lots of things that you can look at to determine a player's experience level, okay? So just try to analyze everything about that person. Also look at their rank when it comes to their club. See what that club is about. When you click on a club, it gives you the, city, the, the club name. And it gives you the uh, the club code right there. It's really tiny. And then it tells you if the club's requirements, like what city level you have to be to join it, if you have to have a certain war rank, uh, if that club's in war, you can't join until it's out of war. But it'll give you a description, right? And it'll say, you know, okay, you got to earn X amount of war points to be here or just whatever the club says. And that'll give you a pretty good indication of what kind of player you're going against as well. So... Hopefully this was helpful and you guys can better determine if you guys should give it your all, if you're going against a hacker, if, you know, what to expect from the competition and why you're seeing low competition in the higher level leagues. So that's one more thing I want to talk about before I go. And that is that you guys, um, uh, Monrovia has two cities. The, the one that we saw today, the level 20 city is actually his feeder city. He has a higher level city that he screwed up a little bit. And so his higher level city is level like 33 and he's winning mega with like 30,000 points or something ridiculous like that. Now, why is that? Why, why is he able to win mega as a level 33 player with such minimal amount of points? And I wanted to explain that super quick. When you guys hit level 30, the reason that I stopped the pass at level 29, or the, uh, I stopped the Missy's building guide at level 29, and I said that that's when you're going to hit your crossroads. That is when you guys are going to experience a huge decision in the game. If you go to into level 30 and you want to play com competitively, you're looking at a wild ride. You are unlocking Omega at level 30, and the Omega canister's task will destroy you. It will cost you a ton of cash. It will be absolutely miserable. And then you have the Omega Homes task and you have the Omega Coins task, which if somebody is level 30 and above, they're going to be playing and they're playing the contest of mayors competitively, they're going to be spending a lot of cash. Okay. And so a lot of times what people will do at that point is they don't play calm competitively at that point. And that's why he's experiencing such low uh, points in the mega league as that high level player. So typically the best depots on the global market are actually from the level 30 players. And you'll notice that the higher level players tend to not post very good items for sale, right? You rarely find rares on high level player cities and you rarely find um, really, really good items like, you know, like, like paint and ladders and, and things that you just, you would buy, right? Not most time on the higher level cities, you think you see things like pizza, pink drinks, burgers, um, uh, TVs, yogurt, things like that, right? And on the lower level cities, you the really low level cities, the ones that are not feeders, the ones that are not advanced players, we're talking the newbies, they're the ones that sell their rares. And and now we just we have this massive amount of people that are feeder cities, okay, and they are um they're they're kind of swooping in on the global market and they're they're running in and they're taking all the rares and that's why you're experiencing a drought okay because everybody's got a feeder and everybody's hunting global at level 18 right now the level 30 players they're the level 33 to about 38 to i'd say about level 30 to 43 max that's when the, the that right there is the players that have fucked up they leveled up way too quick they don't know what they're doing they're making the wrong items they're selling all their stuff off they're struggling to stay afloat you they're probably the players watching this video right now they're they're mo they're going how do i win mega how do i get better at the contest of mayors my city's fucked but i don't want to restart that that's those players the players that fucked up and don't want to restart and they don't know what they're doing and they're they're just they're fucking up every which way possible because they don't want to restart they're going to be the ones that don't give you your competition. And that's why I'm in And what do you exactly what did I just describe about the competition that he's going to see? And then look at the type of player he is. 
that city that he has is a level 33 city. It's a city that he screwed up that he doesn't want to restart. Like, I just explained that. And that's exactly who he's going against. And the level 30 to 43 players are the most uneducated about the game because they're the ones with the most... If, if you have a level 30 to 43 player that has a really low comm rank, they haven't been playing very long. And they're already that high level. So you know they, well, their city is not set up. You know they are not at max storage. You know that they're, they screwed up big time. And... If next time you're on the global market and you're shopping around and you see things like paint, ladders, uh, cream, beef, things like that for sale, take a look at the city level. Most of the time, that city level would be between level 30 and 43. And obviously, you have to look at, you know, which items they have unlocked, of course, you know. If, a, if, it's, a, if it's like a, a microwave or something, that's going to be like level 40 and up, right? I think it's level 40. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to get off here because I got some drama I got to deal with. And um, hopefully this was helpful. But you guys really, when it comes to algorithm, when it comes to the contest of mayors, you've got to compare the people that you're going against and learn the, the con learn the players. And do this when people enter your group. Don't let anybody bullshit you, okay? I'm not kidding, you guys. I have seen people join my group that are like contest rank 70, they have been playing for years and they'll sit there and go, I don't know how to post and trade. I don't know how to post items for sale. Uh, bull the fuck shit you don't, okay? I don't know why, but they get a kick out of making people just type shit up, okay? You ask somebody, um, how, how, what star shop level do you have? And they're like, oh, they're all max. And they're like level 40 when you need max, you know, shops. And it's like, okay, so then they say they got three stars in their city. You zoom in on their shops, and it shows right there which stars that they have. And they lie to you. People lie constantly about dumb shit. Don't let people lie to you. All right? All right, you guys. I'm out.